What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey y'all. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I feel good today. I feel good, boo. Just breathe hard, but I feel good. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. So, okay, so, um, I'm trying a little, little bit more people come in, y'all, so I don't have to repeat myself. But, um, for everybody asking, I actually feel really good today. Really good. I feel really good. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Marcus. I do too. I pray, 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 cry, cry, cry for two days, and I feel great today. I had a lady praying for me and stuff, and like, I feel good, y'all. I really feel good. So, okay. Hey, Katie, baby. Hey, y'all. Okay, so, like I said, to clear this shit up again, no, I did not intentionally go around anybody or anything. I did not, did not get sick until Sunday. Got tested Monday, came back positive Tuesday. So, just to, you know what I'm saying, put that out there. Um, But anyway, let's fast forward, y'all. Okay, so like I said, I feel really, really good today. I'm done crying. I prayed i did everything that i can do so it's just that on it so as y'all can tell i i guess i kind of look a little bit out of mood around yes to around um, back kind of okay so um the health department called me this morning woke me up at my sleep she kept calling so i i finally answered hey everybody <clears throat> excuse me y'all so like i said the health department called me this morning and um they let me know that well not they but she the lady let me know she asked me questions over there i love you too um she said that i can actually come outside next tuesday and um so basically the quarantine period is not 14 days it's seven days from the day so they called me tuesday told me i was positive so it's seven days from tuesday which will be next tuesday is when i can come back outside and interact and stuff of course y'all people are gonna be scared of me they're gonna still think that i got it or whatever so i asked her do i need to go back and get tested she said no and i remember i had said that one of my symptoms was i couldn't taste and i couldn't smell which is true i cannot taste anything i cannot smell anything it's very it's very very minimum i can smell like i didn't bleach my house down and stuff hey i, I didn't bleach my house down and stuff so i just barely smelt it so but thank you yeah i feel real good i feel real good but um they told me that i can come back outside tuesday y'all i'm so happy <laughs> shit but uh like i said so they said that like i said yeah it's seven days it's not 14 days they say it's supposed to be like 14 days if you actually do not know that you got it or some shit like that or something but um yeah, so after two, when she told me when Tuesday comes, I can go back outside. And, uh, but if just so happen like I have a fever or anything, then wait three days after Tuesday. So that'll be Friday. But, um, I have, I haven't even ran fever at all since I had found out or since I had got sick on Sunday. So, like I said, y'all actually feel really good. Like, I done got a lot of hate. I didn't got a lot of backlash behind this. I didn't got a lot of love behind this. Like people that I thought was my friend, ain't you know what I'm saying? I ain't heard from people that I thought we weren't cool no more. I didn't heard from. So like you know what I'm saying? It's it's been good and it's been bad. Like but having this time alone to think about stuff and stuff like that has actually been kind of good for me. But uh, 
I feel good, y'all. I really, really feel good. I'm so, it's nice outside. Y'all still need to be careful, though. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, thank you, Trees. Yeah, I am staying in the house. I'm, I'm not going outside. I had just opened the door to feel a little breeze, and I closed it right big. But I'm not going outside at all. I'm not going outside at all because I don't want to infect anybody. Like I said, I already got a lot of backlash and stuff and people saying that um, I went around them intentionally trying to infect them. Um, You know, I got backlash from my little boy folks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Saying that I was lying about having the virus and, uh, you know, just a whole lot of old whack ass shit. Like, I don't even really care. Uh, I love you too, sister. But yeah, y'all, I don't even really care. Like, so like I said, oh yeah, and thank you, Nation. I'm glad you reminded me. My my babies was tested. They are negative for COVID-19. My babies are negative for COVID-19, which is a good thing. Um, So I'm very, 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 very thankful for that. Thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Like, the inboxes and the calls that I've been getting and all kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm keeping, even when I come back outside, I'm keeping my distance from everybody. I love you too, Visha, baby. Thank you. Yeah, I'm keeping my distance from everybody. Because like I said uh, the other day in their live, like you don't know, a person will not know that they are, you know what I'm saying, that they have it. You did tell me that nation. And, y'all, I was so discouraged, and I just was like, I don't know, I ain't gonna make it. And, but I I just, I, I feel really good. Like, it's really, really scary knowing, you know what I'm saying, what's gonna happen or how you gonna feel or all of that. So, it's scary. But, okay, y'all, back to, like, what I said. Okay, so the health department called me this morning and told me to stay in the house until next Tuesday. So quarantine period is seven days. It is not 14 days. Quarantine period is seven days. So I can come back outside next Tuesday. I know y'all still gonna be scared of me and stuff or whatever, but I don't fucking have AIDS or nothing. I just fucking have a virus. They did confirm I was asking a billion questions. Um, Y'all do need to know that uh the virus lays dormant on surfaces for two to five days so what i suggest is like what i did was i took i put took a, a tupperware bowl that i get and i put bleach in it and i put very very little water so i just wiped down the outside of my doorknob the inside like the handles to the blinds the my toilet uh handle and stuff like just you know stuff that you touch on the daily and stuff and like i literally washed everything that my kids got, like, my baby's toys and all that stuff. I washed everything because, like I told you, it moved Friday. So, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I did say I was not sick Friday. I did not get sick until Sunday. So, but I still, you know what I'm saying, just taking the necessary steps that I needed to take to give me a fucking peace of mind because this stuff was driving me crazy. But, uh, yeah, so, like I was saying, y'all, so... She did tell me that the virus enters the body through the mouth, the nose, and the ears. So, that's why, you know what I'm saying, they tell you go outside, you, you keep it all over your face or whatever, and you keep it over your nose and all that because it can't enter through those three ways, mouth, nose, and ears. Uh, wipe down, like I said, with bleach. Well, I did it with bleach. Have y'all clean this, you know what I'm saying, it's up to y'all. But, um, I feel really good, y'all. I feel really, really good. I feel really good. Um, the only thing, like I said, y'all probably can hear, I sound real congested. I don't have any mucus coming up. I, I haven't really been coughing at all. So, really, the only symptoms that I've had this whole time, Sunday up until now, I had cough. I had coughing. I had sneezing. Um, I had, uh... Well, actually, last night, y'all, I was damn bad. I ain't gonna lie. But today, I feel okay. Um, but last night, I had, uh, well, all yesterday, actually, I had my body. I had the shakes, and I had chills and stuff. Um, so, I was trying to keep the heat on, but I had my heat on, like, 75, and it still wasn't helping. So, 
I don't know, but today I'm kind of hot, I guess, because it's hot outside or whatever, I don't know. But like I said, um, the virus does enter your body through your nose, mouth, and your ears per the health department person, not per me, something that I Googled. Uh, and like I said, the virus will stay alive and lay dormant on surfaces for two to five days. So... You know what I'm saying? Y'all touch folks' hands, touch your car door. Like, I clean my car with bleach and stuff. It was the only time I had went out. I cleaned, you know what I'm saying, the seats and all of that because my kids, we have to be in their car, you know, take them where they need to go. I got to go to work, stuff like that. So I cleaned all this stuff down. Like I said, I had bleached my walls and stuff and door handles, my refrigerator, you know, the, the handle when we touched it, microwave, you know, stuff like that, just common areas that we touch. Uh, on a daily. No, nah, I never ran a fever tea. I never ever ran a fever. Never. I never got hot. Well, I had hot flashes and I was hot, but I never ran a fever. Never. Um, like I said, the only thing that I'm kind of really concerned about right now is my chest. I got real bad chest pains. Uh, I'm out of breath, y'all. Uh, let me see. Real bad chest pains. Like I said, I had a headache. It's really kind of subsided today. I haven't really had a headache ongoing like I had for the past three days or whatever. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I've been like, I got over a thousand inboxes and stuff. Like, I can't respond back to everybody I try to because I ain't got number time. I appreciate all the love. Right. So, and with that, everybody does not have the same symptoms. Like, and I, I'm going to say this. I hate you, some stupid motherfuckers inboxing me, texting me, going through the grapevine, and all of that, like, saying that, oh, who was you around? I don't know. Where did you get it? I don't know. How did you get it? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me that shit because I don't know. Um, and like I said, I got a lot of hate and people saying that I knew I had it. People saying, you know what I'm saying? I sent my boy over to his, his, um, dad and his girlfriend's house on purpose to, you know what I'm saying? Try to infect them. But I would, one thing about me, I would never ever do that because I got kids. Like I said, I'm a dirty bitch and I can be evil and grimy. But one thing about me, I'm not going to put nobody in harm's way because this is something that, let me get my. This uh, virus is something that could potentially be fatal, you know what I'm saying? And my baby has two newborn brothers. His dad just had a baby, so his dad's baby is like four months old, and my baby about to be eight months old. And I don't care what me and that girl got going on. I would never send my baby over there, you know what I'm saying, to potentially infect them because I need a babysitter. Like, no, I would never, I would not do that. It's never that serious. Like, if I thought that I infected my son, I would have kept him home quarantined with me. But, again, luckily for people who just joined in or did not hear me at first, my kids have tested negative for COVID-19. My kids are negative for COVID-19. Both of them are negative. I'm the only one positive for COVID-19 right now. So, like I said, I thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like I said, yeah, yeah. So, People been saying I went around people on purpose and <sighs> thank y'all. Thank you. I really, really, really feel better. I thank y'all for all the, you know, the genuine concern, the prayers, like all of that, because I really, really, I was dramatic as hell. Cause I'm, I was scared as hell. Like for real, I, I, I did not know what was going to happen. I did not know how I was going to feel over the course of a few days. You know what I'm saying? So, but I feel really good, y'all. I feel good. Like, I can't taste my food and I can't smell nothing. So, but um, other than that, like, like I said, my head and my chest hurts and everything. Um, cool. I hope so too, sis. And I'm glad I did not come around to get that purse. But, um, 
Yeah, y'all feel good. Like I said, health department said, thank you. Yeah, I do feel a little better. Oh, uh, hey, Ari. So, like I said again, the health department called me this morning. She asked me a series of questions and symptoms and things like that. And, of course, you know, they can never disclose my name. The only reason people know that it's me is because I made it public and I not because I want no sympathy or nothing like that but only to inform people you know what I'm saying about this shit is for real like you know what I'm saying like everybody took it as a joke including myself I took it as a joke I made jokes about it I made fun of it I didn't take it serious I thought it would not be me and it's me um Brittany fuck you <laughs> But nah, for real, I'm glad I didn't. But um, but it was before that anyway, because like I said, I didn't even get sick till Sunday. So, but yeah, so the health department said it answers your nose, mouth, and your ears. So make sure that you keep, when you outside, I know it feel good outside, baby. It's, it's, it's bitches outside that still got a little tax money, baby. Baby, feel real good. You have some look good out there. But y'all need to make sure that y'all covered up, cover your mouth and your nose. And please keep your distance from people because you just never know. And although it is flu and cold season, they are saying that, you know what I'm saying, you may think you got a cold and all the while it's in you. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said the other day, if you feel like you sick, you feel like anything, like just, you know what I'm saying, just go. But... They're not testing everybody if you don't really have no symptoms. So, that's the only bad thing about it. So, I would advise, you know what I'm saying, especially people that got smaller kids because it's hard for older people and smaller kids to fight off anything. You know what I'm saying? Not just this, but anything. Um. So, but yeah, but y'all, people been asking me just crazy shit like, who you get it from? Where was you at? Thank you. Where was you at? What was you doing? Who was you, um, how do you fit, like, I had one motherfucker get in my inbox and was like, um, well, what, um, how do you, what did they say, how do you know, how did you know that you had it? I had to tell them, damn, thank you for checking on me, I feel good. Shit. Like, but it's been a lot of people that, yeah, I do feel good, y'all, I do, I feel real good, and I'm real happy about that. Um, hey, boo. Uh, yeah, I'm real happy about that, y'all. As y'all see, I, I feel better. I look a little bit. I had to wash my hair and stuff. Like, and I stayed in the shower for probably about 45 minutes. Just as hot as I could stand it. Like, you know, everybody's saying the heat. And and uh, the lady from the health department, like I said, I asked her a thousand questions. I kept her on the phone at least 20 minutes. Ver you know, after she asked me her questions for the 10 minutes or whatever, and she was asking me how I feel. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, see the and um, I'm finna respond on that um, my she but like I said, the lady at the health department, like I said, in your ear, nose, and mouth, and she was saying that it's so like you know it's so many people that are scared, think that they have it and they really don't have it, and so if you not showing no symptoms that they feel like are COVID-19 symptoms they are not going to test you unfortunately um you have to have like fever been in contact with somebody who has COVID-19 or you know what I'm saying something like that for them to test you because like I said there's so many people who are afraid and just want to be tested just for the hell of it and it's like you know it's it's just it's impossible it's it's sad but Thank you. It's sad, but it's true. But, um, yeah, my chica, um, uh, I, um, uh, it's a girl that I know, and she was saying that she got, she was telling me her symptoms or whatever, and it kind of sounded like she may have it. I ain't no damn doctor. All I know is I got it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a doctor. But she, she was like, they told her that it's cold and flu season. They're not going to test her, and... You know what I'm saying? Just watch out if she had any other symptoms, anything like that. But, you know, it's just, y'all just got to be careful. It feel good outside. So, I'm going to be out. 
So, I mean, the only thing I can say is just keep it to a minimum, like, who you touch. Like, I was telling somebody the other day, like, I don't think about the, the little stuff that we I don't handle to go in and out of our, out our house or your car handle to get in and out your car. Your steering wheel, you know what I'm saying? You be in the car eating food, licking your fingers and stuff, and boom, it's on your steering wheel. And you done been in contact with somebody who got it, and boom, now it's on your steering wheel, and you sick. So, but like I said, for the ones who tune in now, again, uh, health department called me this morning, told me that I can come back outside. Um, not now. Y'all will not see me. I can come back outside next Tuesday. She said it's only seven day. It's only a seven day quarantine. It is not 14 days. It is a seven day quarantine. And after those seven days, my seven days will be Tuesday. Um, she said, since I haven't had a fever. So if I don't have fever, if I don't start running outside Tuesday, if not, I can't go back outside until Friday. Um, so, yeah, so I feel real good about that. Um, I'm grateful that it wasn't that bad. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. It, it could have been worse. I could have been in the hospital, but I don't No, they don't keep you in the hospital for it or nothing like that. They test you when you go on about your business and they call you with the results. Um, if I was to have, like, if I was having trouble breathing, couldn't breathe or something like that, then, you know, I would have went and they would have did what they had to do. But, like I said, I got asthma, so I've been taking breathing treatments at home and stuff and drinking third flu and drinking tea and all of that. And I think, well, I don't think, I know. The lady said, like I told y'all, I can't taste or I cannot smell anything. Like, Dove soap, couldn't smell it, you know what I'm saying? Brush my teeth, coke, I couldn't taste it. So, it's just the little things like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I miss tasting my food. I don't just want to eat my food. I want to taste my food. Because, baby, it's a waste of food if I can't taste it to me. But she said, and I asked, I said, a symptom? Like, I Googled it. She was like, yes, that is a symptom. She said, that's something that a few people have reported. So, that's a new symptom. So, if you cannot taste your food or it's something that you drink, I feel so much. Um, if you can't taste or uh, smell anything, you put you could probably have it. You might want to go get tested. Um, cause like I said, they said that's a new symptom or symptoms that when they call people, they saying that you know what I'm saying. They can't taste or smell anything. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. Like it's been so much dumb shit being said to me that. But I feel good, y'all. Rah, rah. If you ain't took your black, thick, cute ass to go get tested, I'm going to be mad. Because you just tuning in. Um, I talked to the lady at the health department today, and she said there is a symptom of COVID-19, not being able to taste or smell. Um, They haven't, like, made it. You know how, like, on Google... It's like, oh, that's a symptom. That's not one of the symptoms that's popping up because it's something that's fairly new. Everybody don't have that symptom, but the people who do could potentially have COVID-19. So, I remember you said that. So, you might want to go just go ahead and get tested. Um, Keisha, much better. Much, much better. <laughs> I might Hmm, now that's Lucky Pacino certified.